Hello everyone! Welcome back once again to Doc Gilmack Online Tutorial Basic Mathematics Tutorial The topic I will be discussing for today's tutorial is all about word problems involving fractions. How do we solve word problems involving fractions? When reading word problems containing fractions, it is important to understand phrases indicating the operations that you need to do in order to solve the word problem. Addition How much together? How far will he travel from home to school then back to his home? are examples of questions indicating addition problem. Subtraction How much more is needed? How much is left? How much is smaller than? How much bigger than? are all examples of questions indicating a subtraction problem. Multiplication The product of How many times longer? A fraction of something are examples of phrases or questions indicating Multiplication problem. Division. The quotient of how many will fit to? How many can be split from? Are examples of questions indicating a division problem. Let's recall changing mixed number to improper fraction. 3 and 1 half, this is just equal to 2 times 3 plus 1 all over 2 or 6 plus 1 all over 2 which is just equal to 7 all over 2. Let's have illustrative example number 1. Gilmir scored 20 points in a basketball game. Gilmar scored one-fifth of Gilmir's score and King scored one-fourth of Gilmir's score. What is the combined scores of King and Gilmar? So we have one-fifth plus one-fourth of 20 are the combined scores of King and Gilmar. Take note, we have one-fifth of 20 and one-fourth of 20. So from here, we get the LCD since the given fractions are the similar fractions. So we have 20 as the LCD. 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1 is 5. So we have 4 plus 5 all over 20 times 20, which is just equal to 9 points. Take note, the combined scores of King and Gilmar in a basketball game is just equal to 9 points. Let's have illustrative example Number two, Jello is five and one third feet tall. JR is only four and one feet tall. How much taller is Jello than JR? So as you can see, the given question 
here indicates a subtraction problem because it is asked in the given problem how much taller is yellow than they are. From here, there are two mixed numbers. So, we're going to change first mixed number into an improper fraction. So, we have 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16 all over 3. Minus 5 times 4, 20 plus 1 is 21 all over 5. Take note, these two given fractions are the similar fractions. Let's convert this into an equivalent fractions or similar, similar fractions, I should say. So we have 15 as the LCD, so we multiply 3 by 5, and then 16 by 5. And then the second fraction, we multiply 3. 21 by 3 and 5 times 3. To make these two fractions a similar fractions. So from here we have 16 times 5 is 80 minus 21 times 3 is 63. All over 15. So we have 17 over 15 or 1 and 2 over 15. So take note of that. Let's have illustrative example number 3. Ian saves one-fifth of his allowance. If his allowance is 550 pesos per week, how much will Ian save for three weeks? So let's have the solution. One-fifth times 550 is just equal to 550 all over 5, or that is simply equal to 110. Then since Ian will save for 3 weeks, so we have 110 times 3. So Ian saves 330 pesos for 3 weeks. Let's have illustrative example number 4. Marife have five children. If two-thirds of her salary is for their basic needs, how much will she give for each of her children for their allowance with a salary of 18,000? So from here, we have one-third of 18,000. Since the remaining one-third is for the allowance of her children. So we have 18,000 divided by 3, that is just equal to 6,000. Then, dividing this into 5, since Marife have 5 children, so we have 6,000 divided by 5 is just equal to 1,200. So therefore, each of the children of Marife will be given 1,200 pesos. Again, I would like to thank you for watching. Stand by for my next tutorial. Keep safe everyone and may God bless us all.